tired of hurting your wallet with $60 for a good game? What if I told you you could get it free? Free is the new way to game. Why try to convince all your friends to pay for the same game when you don't have to? Get more bang for your buck, even when you don't have any. Now you might be thinking, free? Now that's just ridiculous. Everyone knows that free-to-play games are pay-to-win. Well, that simply just isn't true. Free-to-play games is the latest craze, and it's becoming more popular than esports. Every game developer is considering it, even Blizzard. Hearthstone! Heroes of Warcraft! Not everyone can afford a AAA title, and even if you could shout out the cash, your friends might not be able to. Why pay for a game where you can get a better experience from something that won't cost you a dime? But, not every free-to-play game is even worth looking at. Luckily for you and your friends, we've compiled this list. These are the top five free-to-play shooters. Laser Tag 2030. I mean, Shoot Mania. It's like quick for today's generation. The last true thoroughbred old school shooter. It's challenging to learn, requiring pixel perfect aim and precise map knowledge. Shoot Mania is extremely fast paced and also has an advanced movement system that takes plenty of finesse to control properly. The main weapon is a projectile rocket launcher that requires you to understand how fast the projectile travels, and more importantly, to understand how your enemy is going to move and react to you and your rockets. Understanding the flow of battle can be key to winning in Shoot Mania. The other primary weapon is a hitscan instagib railgun, and as overpowered as that sounds, it can actually be very punishing if you happen to miss a shot. The most popular game mode is Elite, and it's a real LAN or esports game mode with only 3 players per team and a guaranteed clutch moment in each round. Map and mod making tools are easy to use and motivate players to create their own content, test it with friends, and then take it public. Shoot Mania is still in beta, but openly available on Steam. When it's released, the primary game modes will remain free, and for a small price you can get access to the map, mod making tools, and all the other game modes. Shazbot is hands down one of the most unique shooter experiences out there. Most games are high damage, automatic, hit scan guns in a modern military setting. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's certainly refreshing to play something so fundamentally different, and that's one of the reasons why it's on this list. Sometimes you just want to get away from the standard shooter games and fly around the world with a jetpack. The whole world becomes a roller coaster. It's a true blast to play a game like Tribes Ascend where the focus is based around mobility, accuracy, and timing. Though the game has quite a bit of a learning curve, learning how to ski is just plain fun. Having most of the weapons in the game be projectile based makes for an entirely different type of shooter, and one that's definitely worth checking out. They just released their Game of the Year edition, you should go have a look if you haven't already, and if you played in the past, go give it another shot. Blacklight Retribution gets a spot on this list thanks to fast-paced gameplay and fun shooting mechanics, plus a very reasonable business model that lets new players try out everything they could ever want for very little time investment. On top of this, the game is well balanced with no weapon modules that feel overpowered. Retribution's two defining features are the moddable weapons that players customize both mechanically and cosmetically, as well as the built-in wall hack that every player possesses as a feature. Retribution has every game type that you're used to, Deathmatch, TDM, Capture Flag, Domination, King of the Hill, Kill Confirmed, and it's a huge step up from Tango Down, and it's a solid choice if you're looking for a game to play. Go get your friends together and go play a few rounds. Planetside 1 was the first of its kind, an FPS MMO with 400 players per map, persistent battles, and a leveling system. Everything you did impacted your faction as a whole, which made it very hard to stop playing. It came out nine years ago, and the remaining diehard fans only stopped playing because Planetside 2 is now out. With Planetside 2, SOE has once again shifted the boundaries of what the FPS genre can be. If you want a huge open world experience where anything you do can contribute to the success or failure of your faction with persistent outcomes and huge infantry and vehicle warfare, then Planetside 2 is your place to be. There are any other shooters out there that offer what Planetside 2 does, and that's massive scale. 2,000 players on a single map, complex bases, indoor and outdoor fighting with every vehicle type that you can think of. The three factions give everyone something to be proud of and have unique distinguishing features. Faction identity and the strong community behind it make for extremely heated conflict on the front lines. This is a game I would gladly spend 60 bucks on, so the fact that it's offered up for nothing outside of optional purchases is a dream come true. Corner, 
deep down you knew why you hadn't seen this one in the video yet, and that's because you and I both know that Team Fortress 2 is the best free-to-play shooter at the moment. TF2 is the flagship title at Valve and has set the standard for free-to-play excellence. Anyone can enjoy the game due to the great variety in playstyles between the nine classes. The game has a real money economy and an extremely active competitive scene, which has helped sustain the game over the years. TF2 has done everything right, from community contributions, modding, consistent content updates, and a nearly perfect microtransaction system. Mix that with the lovable characters and you have your number one free-to-play shooter. Whenever a developer decides to go with the free-to-play business model for their game, it's my opinion that they should be forced to undergo an intensive one-hour shock therapy session with Team Fortress 2. This is how you do free-to-play, everything else has it wrong. My name is Crazy Penguin. Be sure to like and subscribe for more top fives, and to see our other top five picks that didn't make it into this video, be sure to check out the first link in the description. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the game. I have the flag. Get it, Jeff. Shut up. I need an escort. I'll attack the enemies. Just one. Just one. Where's the offense? Help! The enemies in our base. Secure our base. Defend our generator. 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 Shasta! 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 Take the flag from me! Incoming enemy vehicle!